Alright, this video is going to be showing how to start a program and, and the differences in uh, controller tags and then actually how to alias a tag. So first off, we are using the emulator. Um, so we have to choose our processor type is an emulator, uh, version 20, and then we'll just just call it a practice. And then slot one, because we're going to use slot one in the uh, the virtual chassis. So at this point, it's going to make the program, and we have a <clears throat> we have our processor in slot one, and then we have our main program. Now, if we wanted to, um, personally, I like to to change everything to periodic. So, and then I'd put it, generally speaking, I like to start off at like 25 milliseconds. And this just lets you know it's going to scan every 25 milliseconds. Um, at that point, we'll make another routine. And we'll call it alias tags. Then we'll come into the main routine, do a JSR, and link the main routine to the alias tag uh, routine. Now, <clears throat> the difference in, in tag structures is you have a program scope tag, which is the program tag, which is not Say if I made a tag in, in the program, program scope level, and then I change it to bool, that once it's made, so at this point, I won't be able to come in controller tags and see that tag. Now if I scroll down up here, and then select program, I can see it, but if I go to, to my actual controller scope, I will not be able to see it. So if you want to use the tag throughout the whole program anywhere, it has to be a controller scope tag, meaning it has to be at the controller level and not the program level. So if you wanted to alias something, say for instance, you want to uh, alias a different tag or, or whatever the case may be. So we'll have like tag one and then we'll have that, well let's put that as, as tags. Is that way it'll be, it's our dent level. So that's our dent and we'll have tag one and then alias it to or alias it to dent one and then tag two and then alias it to the second so at the same time just keep on doing the same pattern and all it's really doing is is tying linking the two together so it's linking this tag with this tag so if you use it if I come in here and I used it and I said okay tag one And if, what, what's interfering right here is, is the program scope tag. So now if I came back in here and said tag one, it would, it would have an alias right there. And then say, say I wanted tag one to cut on 
tag two. Well, let's let's just not make a new tag. Let's just select it. So you see the alias in the bottom down here. Now, if you wanted to, you can easily see what's going on. But what I what I can do is come down here below and add a ROM and just put changes to a no operation and then come down here and add a whole bunch of bits so that you can see the alias tag so on tags I can show you this one you know keep going This type of, of uh, control, <clears throat> the no operation, is just put in there so that you can, you know, select a bunch of bits and put them in place and just, like, see the activity in real time. So with that said, what we can do, being that we have, <coughs> excuse me, so being that we have most of these done, we can say tag three. And then what I can do is I'll just verify real quick and then download to my virtual chassis, which is slot one. Now it is going to start up. Now <clears throat> Right here, if I toggle this bit, you're going to see tag one come up. Then, if I toggle this bit, you're going to see these two come on because of the fact of tag one came on and cut the, the alias tag of tag one on. Now, when I cut on tag three, the alias tag 3 came on and it cut on the OTE for tag 2 which is the alias of 2. Now say for instance I wanted to come in here and just use these as well. I can use these independently and just say for instance I wanted to come in here and and use tag 4. Say I wanted to OTE tag 4 but I didn't want to alias it. You don't have to alias it. The alias is just used for, you know, so that shows you that now if I come in and looked at the, if I monitored the tags, I could see that in my tags that I aliased are one, 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 and one. And so they are actually showing that they're working. So you can use this alias tag. Generally speaking, you alias um, like a, a input card or, or something of that nature so that you, you can use the tag structure like the tag. Say for instance you wanted to have a start button down here in the alias you would have the actual raw input down here. And you can do that, you know, adding an input simulator uh, in slot two, and you know you could name it, name it whatever you want. So then you could come in here and add that in. And then, so for, I think it's, I'm not sure where that's going to fall under. So we don't want to do that. That's, that's controller again. 
it should be an emulated version of an input card just trying to show you without using hardware so I'm not seeing it right now um, you can also try to discover it which is not going to see anything so you could do that if you had a, a real chassis but so the point of, of basically this is to understand the, the controller scope tag the control the controller scope tag up here the program scope tag and adding a alias tag to it so say for instance I had a, a new uh, I made a new routine so in task or I made a new task say new task and again <clears throat> periodic and I, I put it this time at 45 milliseconds and I come down here a new task and do a new program And in new programs, I put in my routine. So now I would have to link my, my main routine. So I come down here and in configuration, just make sure it says main routine. So that it works because if you do if you put it in and <clears throat> say for instance like right here if i if i took it out of and said no i don't want that to have anything then it's not going to work down here it's going to show me an error and it's going to show that there's no main routine so with a main routine you can basically that's that's like your start I mean you don't have to have it so now I'll download again and in that download I just wanted to show real quick like so for instance program scope tags in this program I can say scope tag one and again make this a bull if it's just a tag you just wanted a bull and then down here in this program scope you don't see that nor do you see it in, in the controller scope <clears throat> so if I went to programs and I went to the first program I would see that tag so I could use that tag in that program so in this program I could use <clears throat> I could actually come in here and say scope tag one and use it so for instance right here just toggle that on toggle that on and you see scope tag 1 is on so if I went to program tags and monitored scope tag 1 would be on <clears throat> down in this program you have nothing so I just wanted to give a, a rough overview real quick of program scope tags which controller scope tags program scope tags and then alias tags so how to alias tags and then how not to so you know if you just wanted a regular tag you can just use the regular tag um, if you wanted a program scope tag or if you wanted to, to use a uh, an alias you can alias it if not you can just you know use it as a normal bit or a normal tag or whatever you wanted to so i hope that uh helps you and uh, if you have any questions just leave a comment below and, and we'll have more videos for you